Good morning, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to my channel. This is Nova Known Creations, and I'm Nova, and I'm so glad you decided to join me this morning. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. It is Sunday, so I guess it's still the weekend, but I hope you get to wind down today and just relax, get some crochet in, or knitting in, or looming in, or crafting, whatever it is that you do. I assume most of you probably crochet, but hey. If you're here and you don't even do any of that and you just like to hang out, that is totally fine. <laughs> so I hope you guys have a great day and uh, have a great have the rest of your weekend. Um, we are going to be starting December this week. So that is just crazy to me. I know I've said that on the last couple um, videos, but it's so crazy to me that it's already December. Um, have you started working on Christmas presents, um, wrapping Christmas presents maybe even, um, or have you put your Christmas tree up? We're working on it, uh, working on the, getting the Christmas stuff up a little bit at a time. There's a stocking right there. Um, there, that's, we have a lot of stockings. We were actually just talking about this the other day, um, as we were putting or getting out our Christmas decorations. Um, you know, Technically, in my household, there are two human adults, <laughs> and that would be my husband and I, so technically we could have two stockings, but um, we really like stockings. Like, we were talking about how we just enjoy stockings, um, and they're just like, there's something that really screams Christmas to us, so they're just such a fun thing, um, but we have like, I don't even know how many stockings. We haven't put them all up yet, um, but we have at least we at least each have two stockings and then we have one for each of the fur babies so we have one for Lincoln we have one for Mario and we have one for Totaru um, and then we actually also have a stocking for two kitties that we have had in the past that have passed away so there's actually a stocking for Pippin and Fluffball and we actually keep their stockings as little keepsakes to um, do like a memory capsule, kind of. Um, so we have their stockings with like toys that they used to have, collars that they used to have, things like that in the stocking. So when we pull out our Christmas stuff, we're also pulling out a little memory capsule um, for our lost pets. So I also have like a little like memorial kind of area with like a little kitty statue and um like a little um oh, I don't know what it's called but it's like made of like plaster or something I'm not really sure what it is and it has like a little kitty um like stamped into it when it was still soft or something um and it's just like forever in our hearts so um yeah, didn't mean to get off on that tangent. <laughs> I just thought about it. But, um, and then I, like, I got that one last year. That was one of my Christmas presents. That's an Animal Crossing stocking. And then I got my, um, Nomi stocking that I did, uh, coloring on the channel. And that one I'm thinking I'm going to put right there. So it'll be, like, in the background. Um, and then the tree is out. It's just not, um, ready. I don't know if you can see it. That, like, dark colored thing right there is going to be the tree that's going to go where that bag is and it'll be taking up this area and that's going to be our tree for our 25 days of Christmas. Um, so that tree is a little bit dark in shade. I actually think it might be black, <laughs> um, but it was my grandmother-in-law's uh, tree and she passed away, unfortunately. Um, I've actually talked about her a little bit on the channel. She was the only person that I've had in, like, any of my family that I know of that crochets. I'm trying to think if I, uh, that there might be a few other people, but she was the person that, you know, had I got into crochet a little bit earlier than I did, um, I would have really liked to have bonded with her over crocheting. And I think that she would have enjoyed that and it would have been fun. So I wish I had gotten into it a little bit earlier so that I could have done that. But unfortunately, that's just not what happened. So um, regardless, another tangent. Wow, I'm just like getting off on... Um, slightly depressing tangents, <laughs> but 
it's all in how you look at it. So I'm happy that we have things of hers um, that bring us joy. And that little Christmas tree was hers. It's um, like a four foot Christmas tree probably. And I thought it would just be perfect for the crochet tree. We also have a um, regular Christmas tree in the other room. Which, if you saw my community tab, um, we got the colored lights up on it yesterday, and Link was absolutely so happy. He um, spent the whole rest of the night either in the tree or sleeping under the tree. He loves to sleep under the tree, so he's quite enjoying that. Um, and I have one ornament on the tree so far because it was randomly not in with the other ornaments. So it got put on the tree already because it was like out before anything else was. I don't know why it was in that tote. Um, but yeah, we've just been doing a little bit um, over the last few days. And I think we're going to finish up Christmas decorating today. Um, and if we do, I'm going to do a little video and show you guys our Christmas decorations. So that's something fun, um, at least that I think is fun to look forward to. But today, I have a piece of Happy Mail. And I'm pretty sure I know what this is, but let's see before, before I go saying. Pretty sure. Yeah, <laughs> it is what I thought it was. So let's slide that out of there. Get my little gift receipt. Why are there so many receipts in here? And they also gave me like a strip of like, I think this is adhesive backing strip for <laughs> sealing the bag. Okay, so I have Happy Holidays Enjoy from Lynette. I had a feeling that that's what this was, um, but I wanted to make sure before I said anything. So this is from Lynette, who also got me my, um, I want to sit this one to the other side because I saved these little gift gift uh, notes. Um, she got me my Modern Granny Square um, book that I've been using lately and have been loving so much. And this is by one of the um, same authors. This one has three authors. So this is 3D Granny Squares and it is by Katie Moore, Sharna Moore, and Celine Simon. So Celine Simon is one of the people, um, there were two people who made the modern Granny Square book, and she was one of the people who worked on that. Um, so I really wanted this one too, because these look so cute. Um, this book actually caught my eye um, before the modern one, uh, the modern guide to granny squares, because I don't think I had seen the modern guide to granny squares, if I remember right. Um, but I had seen this one, and this this just is very eye catching. Um, so this says the humble granny square goes to another level with 103 D crochet patterns. It includes a huge range of designs from sharks and frogs to cherry pie and unicorns. Each design has the written crochet pattern and crochet charts. It includes 10 projects for homewares and accessories so you can put your 3D granny squares to good use. And then on the back, they have a little thing that's more books to love. Let me get you focused. Look at this little animal rugs book. That looks cute. All right, so we are going to do a book look today. So we've got 3D granny squares. And I'm thinking if you guys enjoy um, doing book looks that I will do, I will start doing book looks um, maybe once a week or something because I got that amazing book haul um, that I showed you guys uh, like for my birthday little splurge where I found that amazing deal. Um, so I have those books. Ooh, I just opened this and it smells really good. It smells like new book. Okay, sorry. But yeah, if you guys enjoy book looks, I was thinking I can show you guys what those books have in them too. 
So here is the opening page. So we've got a little fox, a pretty um, colored one, a crab, a sheep, a waffle. Is that a waffle? That's a waffle. That's so cute. So the book starts out with um, a yarn key, chart symbols, abbreviations, um, crochet hook, um, conversion charts, all that good stuff. Ooh, this is just another very aesthetically pleasing book. I can tell already that this is just a very aesthetically pleasing book. They have great pictures. Look at this unicorn. That unicorn looks really cute. Mm, let's see, is there a glossary? There we go contents ah look at the even the table of contents has cute squares okay so in this book i'm gonna hold it up like this while i look at it all right we they they divide the table of contents up into categories so we've got food and drink which has a donut coffee mug, ice cream, cookie, and fried egg. There's also a fried egg pot holder, an ice lolly that is British for a popsicle. <laughs> I know that from Manfa's Makes channel. Uh, a lattice top pie, a waffle, a cupcake, and a teapot. There's also a teapot pin cushion. So in um, like italics after some of these, like the fried egg, it had the fried egg pot holder. And then the teapot, it had the teapot pin cushion. I think that those are how it said there were like 10 projects. I think those are the projects for like around your house. We also have pizza and sweet. Okay, I'm gonna flip to that page really quick because I'm curious what they mean by sweet. Because to me, that's like an adjective and not, oh, okay, a candy. <laughs> All right. Um, then we've got fruits and vegetables. So we've got watermelon, avocado, apple, and then um, one of the projects, apple coasters, um, an orange, raspberry, cherries, another project, a cherry envelope pouch, um, kiwi, pumpkin, pineapple, project is a pineapple cushion. Strawberries, another project, a strawberry towel topper. Um, and then we have animal magic. So for the animal section, we've got sheep, pig, bunny, mouse, llama. And then for a project, there's a little llama bag. Dog, rabbit, cow. And then for a project, there's an animal play cube. And cat, owl, and chicken. Um, there's also wild beasts category where there is a bear, a flamingo, a penguin, a lion, a fox, and a panda. Then for under the sea, we have jellyfish, whale, shark, crab, terrapin, fish, shell, turtle, and starfish. For the holiday section, we've got a sun hat, sun, palm tree, sand castle, flip flops. And then for mini beasts, we have spider, beehive, butterfly, dragonfly, ladybird, frog, and snail. For flowers, we have vintage flower, succulent, lace flower, fluffy flower, granny flower, popcorn flower, layered flower, and then for a project, there's a flower pillow. We have peony, dahlia, violet. For a project, there are violet wrist warmers. That sounds cute. We have daisy, mandala flower, rose, and sunflower. And then for motifs, we have a granny heart, dainty heart, double star, rainbow, unicorn, moon, ooh, teddy, diamond, and cloud. I love clouds. Um, abstract, we have wobbly square, bobble, spike, circle, popcorn, textured granny, textured square. And then for celebrations, we have Christmas Elf. 
Uh, birthday cake, turkey, Santa's belt, Rudolph, present, festive wreath, Easter eggs, bauble, and Christmas tree. Ooh, so lots of cute sounding stuff in here. So I'm going to do my best to kind of show you guys the type of stuff that's in here. But the individual pictures are on the pages with the patterns. So I'm not sure how well that is going to go. Trying to think of the best way to do this. Hmm. Okay. The best way to do this, I think, is going to be to flip you around. I think you're going to get the best view. Okay, so I've got you flipped around and covering up the patterns. Um, so here is the donut. That is cute. And you can see that 3D textured kind of thing going on. Then we've got a coffee mug. I love that. That could be a coffee, a hot chocolate, latte. That could be really whatever you want it to be. And I've got my little light on on here and so hopefully let's see this is on and this is off might be better off so I'll leave it off for now so that's what the coffee mug looks like and then we've got ice cream that is cute look at the little cherry and everything and we've got a cookie. That looks like a cookie. And then we've got a fried egg. Looks like a fried egg on toast. And then here is the fried egg pot holder. Cute, cute, cute. And I think you could really do that with most of the patterns, I bet. Just make them out of cotton. So here is the ice lolly. You could totally do that in different colors, too. You could do, like, a bomb pop colors. Any kind of popsicle colors. We've got the lattice top pie. Oh, we're on to the waffle. That waffle is cute. Let me see. I love that little waffle. And then we've got a cupcake. Cute, cute, cute. Oh, wow. Look at this teapot. That is super 3D. How cool is that? That is so cool. And so here is the project with that one, which is this teapot pin cushion. That is so cute. I love that. And then we've got the pizza. And here is the sweet, which is a piece of candy. Now we're moving on to the fruits and vegetables section. We've got a watermelon, an avocado. <clears throat> I absolutely love this square. For one, I love the avocado. And then for two, I really like this purple that they used. That is a really pretty square. I would totally make that square. Definitely gonna have to make that. Then we've got an apple. That is really cute. That would be a great project for like a teacher. Um, maybe you could do like a scarf out of them. That would be really cute. And then they've got a project example here of Apple Coasters. Ooh, and then they've got the caramel apples. I'm assuming that's caramel in that cup. It could be coffee, but I want it to be caramel, so it's caramel. <laughs> we've got orange which is an orange slice and raspberry
and cherries is our last fruit or maybe not our last fruit actually sorry i saw the project coming up and i thought it was a uh, uh category change this is a cherry envelope pouch an envelope pouch huh So I'm guessing you can put stuff inside of it, since it's a pouch. Looking at it, what it says to do real quick. Fold three corners toward the center of the square. Interesting. I, I'm having a hard time envisioning how this works, but <laughs> maybe I'll have to make it just so I can see. Then we've got a kiwi. I love kiwi. And a pumpkin. And then we've got a pineapple. I can just imagine this being in a cute blanket. Or this pineapple cushion that they show us. <laughs> I think that this one would be really cute in like a blanket with like the palm tree one. I think there was a palm tree one. Do like summer themed blanket. I think that could be so cute. Imagine just like at a beach house. <laughs> and then we've got strawberries. That is absolutely adorable. I love that. So they're using, I think, bobble stitches. Or maybe puff stitches, actually. That is so cute. And then their project for this one is this strawberry towel topper. That is cute. And now we're moving on to the animal section. And now we are on to animals. That sheep was so cute. I love the bunny with the little flowers. The mouse is so cute. You can make a little bag. They have instructions for that. I wanted to show you guys um, with one that wouldn't show too much pattern that um, it's really cool how they put the pattern chart. Um, they have it in like parts so you can do like the base of the square and any of the 3D elements also have their own separate um, pattern chart. So I thought that was really cool. Like especially the more elaborate ones. There's like actually... A lot of little pattern charts to kind of break it down so I thought that was pretty cool I just adore that tiny owl how cute is that it's a flamingo that's actually a really nice flamingo granny square these would be so cute for a kids nursery like a little animal themed blanket or you could do like an under the sea themed blanket that would be really cute for like um you know a nautical themed room if you have this could even be mr krabs if you wanted to do like spongebob <laughs> and i wanted to show you guys that they have like a little color key on the side of each page um, and then that corresponds with at the front where they have like their whole little chart so if you wanted to use the same colors that they use they make it really easy to or you can you know kind of match it and and get colors that look similar if you want to that sun hat one is so cool. Oh, yay, there is a palm tree. I thought there was. Oh, a sand castle, flip flops. You could totally do like a beach house themed blanket. I think this beehive is so cute. So many granny squares in here that remind me of other YouTubers. Like the butterflies, the flamingos, the llamas. It's like a lot of people's favorite things. Then we're getting into the flowers. There's a lot of really cute flowers and a succulent, which is pretty cool. Definitely makes for a good 3D granny square. I am always a sucker for a good uh, flower granny square. These 3D flowers are so pretty. I think the 3D flowers could definitely be like a ton of projects all on their own. 
Oh, and then there's these uh, wrist warmers or hand warmers. Super cute. And you could probably do that with a lot of the squares too. With the instructions they give you for like how to put them together. Oh, I love the granny heart. How cool is that? I've never seen anything like that before. Rainbow with clouds. The double star is really cool. Kind of reminds me of a um, star fruit. I really, really like this moon granny square. I'm definitely going to be making some of those. And there's the wobbly square. The name of that one makes me laugh. So many nice textured granny squares. Ugh, I love spike stitches. I think that there's um, some surface stitching in there. Maybe some uh, back loop onlys. Oh, and then now we're into some Christmas. Well, holidays. It's not just Christmas, but that's a really cool turkey. And I just love Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, so I really love this ornament, or this uh, granny square. So cute. You can do these little Easter eggs, or you can do an ornament. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the book look and flipping through and looking at all the different squares that we can make with this book. I am super excited for these squares. There are some really cool looking ones in here. Um, I just ended up flipping you around and taking pictures of them for the most part because I wanted to make sure you could really get a good look. And I'm hoping that that... Um, I'm hoping that that was a good way to do it. You guys will have to let me know what you thought. I'm trying to see if there is a um, spot that tells me how big these squares work up to be. Let's see. Welcome to the wonderful world of three-dimensional granny squares. These little squares of loveliness just took a turn for the more tactile, as Katie Moore, Celine Simon, and Sharna Moore present a collection of 100 designs, each with a surface element that makes them irresistibly 3D. You can mix and match as much as you want and create an impressive granny square blanket, or alternatively try some of the project ideas scattered throughout this book. Before you start, please read the following advice for information. Then they've got all these details that I showed you at the beginning with like the, the charts. Um, they have the yarns that they used. They have the terms. I don't think anywhere it says how big the squares come out. I know that that's going to depend on, you know, your tension and everything. And then, of course, more than likely, you're not going to use the yarn that they use unless you specifically order it. Um, but they have you using a four millimeter hook. From what I can tell, it doesn't say anything about how big the squares work up. Flipping through this book is so satisfying. It smells really good because it's a new book. It's also just a really aesthetically pleasing book. It's so well done. It's colorful. It's got really high quality pictures. At the back of the book, they show you how to um, do like stitches. So like how to finish off. Do like invisible finish. Yeah, invisible facet off. Weaving in ends. They've got techniques. And I wanted to show you guys this one page that I thought was really pretty, but I didn't want to take a picture of it. Um, it's the um, section dividing page for the skills area, which is where like the different stitches and stuff are. Look how cute. This just shows you how aesthetically pleasing this book is. They've got um, some of their um, um, pattern charts. 
and then they have like this pretty the skills and then look at all that color and just like very i don't know artfully um like put together they don't just like you know slap it on a page and call it a day it's very well done so yeah i'm not sure how big the squares are unless i'm missing it somewhere i do not think it says but these look like pretty um standard size squares these don't look like they're going to be giant um like the modern granny squares are really big squares i think that these look like they're just going to be like your standard size square um from what i'm looking at but when i start working them up um we'll be able to see because they are all the same size so and i think that they used a worsted weight yarn they used all paint box yarns which i've never used before Okay, so they did use DK. They used paint box yarns, cotton DK range. But um, they say you don't need to, you know, stick with what they use, but they did give you a key in case you want to. And uh, they have every color and like even a little um, picture of what the color is next to it. So that's pretty cool. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this book look. Um, I know that it's kind of a long video, but it's got a hundred squares in the book. So it's kind of a big book. <laughs> uh, let me know what you guys think and what square would you want to make the most out of this and or see me make the most out of this. I am very excited. There is a lot of cute squares. Honestly, they were all cute squares. <laughs> just make a giant 100 granny square 3d blanket that would be a project <laughs> um but let me know what you guys think of this book i am so excited for it thank you so much lynette for um happy mailing that to me and she said um happy birthday so thank you so much for the happy birthday wishes um i am very very happy to have this book ah it is just a very very satisfying book it's got a nice feel to it too so mm. I just love it. Um, I hope everybody has a wonderful day and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.